Hey everybody, today I have an unboxing of the Apple iPad Air 2. Now, just a disclaimer, I've been using this iPad for quite a while now. Um, I just do everything back in the box just to do an unboxing video because I figured why not, I haven't done one in a while. So let's get started. So Apple's packaging, of course, is always simple, very elegant, very clean, simple. Uh, on the front, you just have a sideline profile of the iPad just to show off how thin it is. And this is crazy thin. It's 6.1 millimeters thin, um, which is actually thin as the iPod Touch. So there you go. Um, on the side, it just says Apple iPad Air. I don't know why Apple didn't put the number two there, but that's just how they do. On the top, you got nothing. On the bottom, nothing. On the side, it just says iPad Air again. And on the back, let's just cover these numbers up just in case. Um, I did get the 128 gigabyte. Wi-Fi model. Uh, it's the silver color. All right, so let's open this up here. All right. Of course, it's always very suspenseful when you open these things. All right, here is the iPad. It's the white silver 128 gig Wi-Fi. See that very clean. Shiny Apple logo. You can see me in the background there. And then, yeah, pretty neat. All right, so let's dive in to what's in the box. You get your power adapter. I believe this is 10 watt. Previously, I think it was 12 watt, but Apple decided to include a 10 watt adapter, which is which is fine. Um, Actually, let's move this out of the way here. My light right there is sort of reflecting off. All right, inside you get your, of course, your little quick start guide or little card pamphlet thing. And then iPad info, and then of course your Apple stickers. So let's throw everything back in the box. I do like to collect these Apple stickers. Um, I don't really use them, so pretty much they're useless to me, but you know, I just like collecting them. And then here you get your lightning cable, like always. Um, USB to lightning. All right, let's put that off to the side. Now here is the iPad Air 2. Um, now there are a couple of new features with this iPad. Um, there's not a whole lot. Um, that's you know that's just how Apple does it with all these iPads. But in terms of new features, um, obviously Touch ID is the main biggie right here, which I really do love. Um, it works very well on the iPad Air 2. We get a new Retina display. It's not really new. It's the same resolution, um, but what Apple did differently here is that they added a anti-reflective coating, so definitely a lot, a lot less um, reflections. You still get a lot of reflections, but you know they've been really reduced. And then you get a laminated Retina display, meaning that the LCD behind the glass is actually optically bonded to the um, LCD. That means that you won't get any sort of internal reflections. It's very similar to the technology in the iPhones right here. I have the iPhone 6. So I'm really glad that Apple did that so there's no air gap between the um, display and the LCD. Now this is very thin. Um, 6.1 millimeters. Let's try to get a focus on that. Super, super thin. Um, I don't know why Apple keeps on making these products thinner. Um, I do appreciate that they're doing that, but honestly, um, I would appreciate it more if they just kept the same thickness but added better battery life. Um, they keep on making it thinner, but they're sort of ignoring the battery life. Because in terms of battery life, this thing still gets 10 hours, which is okay, but I think Apple could still you know, do better on battery life. On the front, you get a improved um, 
FaceTime camera. It's the same resolution, 1.2 megapixels, I believe, 720p. But they did add a new sensor in there, so overall better quality. And then on the back, you do get a new 8 megapixel eight sight camera. Um, I believe it's f2.4 aperture. Yep, the f2.4. Now, this has a new sensor in there, so it's better color, better um, overall better images. I, I would say that this is close to the camera in the iPhone 5S or iPhone 5. Um, it's not up to par with the iPhone 6 quality or the iPhone 6 Plus, but um, yeah, it's a better camera overall. I'm not a huge iPad photographer. I don't use my iPad a lot to do photography. Obviously, I do photography with my camera that I'm filming this video right now. Or if I'm using my phone, obviously the iPhone 6 has an amazing camera. Alright, and on the bottom it just says iPad. You do get a stainless steel Apple logo, which is actually separate from the aluminum casing. On the top, you do get your... I should have used a different lens for this video because it's not focusing very well. Um, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You get a lock button. Now Apple on the side did remove... Gosh, I gotta get a different lens for this video. Come on! Alright, so on the side, Apple did remove the lock rotation switch because, I'm guessing because this is really thin. Honestly, I haven't really used that thing much because honestly, when you just do this, you could just swipe up and then you get lock rotation right there. But, yep, Apple removed that. They did put dual microphones right here and next to the camera and then you get your volume up and down buttons right there. On the bottom, you get your stereo speakers stereo. Um, they're all on the bottom. I don't know why Apple does that. I wish they just put speakers right here and then since they have so much room on the top put another speakers right here but maybe Apple will someday but not um, but not right now. You can see my computer in the background again. Um, and you get your lightning connector and there you go. And of course you always get those classic Apple Diamond cut chamfers right here. All right, so this does have a A8X chip. It's a actually a tri-core chip, three cores, which um, a lot of people were surprised by that. Um, I'll tell you, this thing is a beast. It is really fast. Um, I went heavy at it. Um, a lot of HD streaming video, a lot of photography, a lot of video taking. A lot of photo editing, video editing, movie watching. Uh, I've been playing lots of music on here. Pretty much all day, um, I went crazy with this iPad. And it handled performance very well. And in terms of battery performance, I've been getting around eight, around eight to nine hours. Not so quite the actual 10, but honestly, it depends on what you do with your iPad and like the brightness and Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. And um, yeah, so A8X chip, very fast, very um, good performer. Uh, it has two gigabytes of RAM actually, which is a first for an iOS device, two gigabytes of RAM. So overall, um, your iPad is gonna be very smooth and it's gonna be more future-proof. Um, but yeah, now this does have obviously 802.11, A, B, G, and N, and AC Wi-Fi, which is really fast. I do not have an AC router. I'm currently using an N variant. <clears throat> but even though with N Wi-Fi, this thing is crazy fast. It has MIMO, multiple in, multiple out te technology. And yeah, that's pretty much the major things with this iPad. Just improvements on the display the touch ID, the thinness, and then obviously the better camera, better RAM, better processor. Alright guys, sorry for that little junker right there. I just got a phone call which I had to take. So again, let's move on. I did mention some main, sort of the main specifications and features of the iPad Air 2. 
So let's unlock the iPad with Touch ID. Now the iPad Air 2 does come with iOS 8 straight out of the box. Now my experience with iOS 8 has been good. Um, yeah, there's been a few bugs here and there, but honestly don't worry about it. Um, those system updates that are coming from Apple will overall um, improve <clears throat> the performance of iOS 8. So when you purchase an iPad Air 2, don't worry about it. Um, it's very clean, very simple, very fast, like always. Now, I did forget to mention with the camera, new features on the iPad Air 2 with iOS 8 is time-lapse. You could, you know, do nice time-lapse photography. Slow-mo, which you could do slow-mo video at 120 frames per second. Unlike the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, which you could do at 240 frames per second. Um, but, you know, 120 frames per second, that's good enough. I'm not going to do slow-mo video on my iPad, honestly, so I don't really care. Uh, video, you could do 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Photos, again, 8 megapixel photos, which is up from last year's um, 5 megapixel. And then, yeah, so let's just finish off with this Retina display right here. Uh, it is a 9.7 inch display, 2560 by 1536, which equates to 264 pixels per inch. Now, is this the sharpest display out there? No, there's a lot more, you know, sharper display tab tablets that are on the market. But honestly, you are not going to notice a difference unless you bring the iPad, like, you know, straight up close to your face. Yeah, if you look very, very close up, you can see sort of microscopic pixels. But honestly, from a normal viewing distance from your face, you're not going to notice that at all. It is a very good retina display from Apple. In terms of color production, I don't think it's going to translate well onto my camera. But colors on here are very natural. Um, me personally, because I am a photographer and I do like to take videos, um, <clears throat> an, a more natural looking display, you know, such as from Apple's um, sort of lineup, is what I prefer. Unlike Samsung's displays with AMOLED technology, which tends to be more oversaturated, a lot of people like that saturated look, but me personally, I just like a more neutral, natural look. So, yeah. So that is the iPad Air 2. Quick unboxing. Well, it's not really a quick unboxing. But yeah, that's the iPad Air 2. Let's move the iPhone out the side. Now, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please check out my channel. Uh, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or whatever you you know have to say, put them down in the comments. And I'll definitely look at them. And yeah, thanks for watching.